Hello everybody, uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Wikipedia. So Wikipedia kind of gets a bad rap. A lot of people will say that it can't be trusted and other people will cut and copy entire pages and pretend it's their own work. So I want to go a little bit deeper into using Wikipedia and I also want to show you one quick tool. So I want to start off with that. Now, if you scroll down on the left hand side, you're going to see that uh, Wikipedia has many, many languages that they've translated these articles into. Um, but one that I want to pay attention to is actually called Simple English. So Simple English page is uh, an attempt for Wikipedia to have a bunch of articles written in a language that's a little bit easier to read. Because I don't know if you're like me, but I'll come across some articles and instead of helping me uh, learn a little bit more about it, I end up being more confused uh, than anything else. So Simple English has 151,000 articles uh, written in it and they're adding to it every day. So what it does is it's going to take a standard article. So let's say the city of Manchester Stadium, why not? So this is the simple English version of this page. Now, if I wanted to quickly compare this, I can go up and where it says simple up in my URL, I'm gonna type EN, so that's the English short form. And what this is gonna show me is how giant this article is. And even the language that they use gets a little bit harder to read. So if I switch my EN to simple, it's going to be quite a bit shorter of an article and a lot easier for me to read. So this can be a really good tool if you're struggling to make it through a, a Wikipedia article. Um, and it could be great to uh, help speed you up as well. So that's the tool I wanted to show you. Now as far as using Wikipedia just as a resource, I think it's important to note that Wikipedia it can be really handy for initial research and a great starting place because it can direct you to really good resources as well. But as everyone tells you, Wikipedia can be edited by anybody. So it's not that it's automatically gonna be garbage, but it always has the possibility of being not necessarily truthful. So um, the best way to use this, I find, is to find an article. So let's find an article about the Beekman Tower, why not? So this would be a good article to start uh, reading, get some background information, but also take it with a grain of salt. The details that are in here may or may not be true, especially if it's about something that's controversial, because a lot of people will get in here and try to make edits themselves, and you might be on there on a day before that edit gets found. So even if it is something ridiculous, it might still be there by the time you're searching. Um, so your best idea, is let's say you find a piece of information in here that's uh, really useful, but you want to make sure that it's absolutely true. As you'll see, they have all of these footnotes or endnotes added to these articles. So this is what's done in Wikipedia to force people to verify where they found their information. And sometimes you're actually gonna see a red X and that's gonna be telling you that the information there needs a citation. So if somebody added this information on there, but didn't tell them where they got it. But if I wanted to see uh, a little bit more information about how uh, few available apartments tended to be overly expensive, what I can do is I can click uh, highlight, sorry, on this four, and it's gonna give me the uh, website or the, um, the details where they found this. So if I click on here, it's gonna bring me to another source, and I can now double check to see if the information that uh, Google has is correct. And in this case, it's an actual book um, from 1923, and that's where they're, uh, so they're sourcing their information from. Now, if you just want to collect all of the resources that you're using, you're not going through paragraph by paragraph. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see all of these citations. So some of these might be better than others, but again, it's a great resource to find uh, places to start looking. So if you're doing research on this Beekman Tower, you could start poking through a lot of these websites and seeing what they have to offer. But more importantly, make sure that they all have the same information. If you find something on one website that you're not finding on two or three other ones, it's a good chance it might not be correct. So uh, if I want to go through and find what uh, Alice Harris was writing about, I can actually get the ISBN number of this uh, book. I could go to a library and look this book up. Or I could click on any of these links that are linked to a direct website. So. That's what I have for you today. That's a couple tips of using Wikipedia, not as your primary resource, but as a great starting point to help you find what you're looking for. And always keep in mind that a lot of articles will be written in simple English, which you can find either by finding the language on the left-hand side or double-clicking up where it says EN and changing that to simple. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Have a great day.